Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Deja Vu. Um, today we are going to be making a Demerara syrup. So very similar to the simple syrups that we've made in previous videos. If you haven't checked those out yet, make sure you check them out. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, but we're going to be using obviously Demerara sugar in this one, which is much more richer golden color compared to the regular caster sugar we'll be doing. But the ratio we're gonna be using for this one is a two to one, which basically means we're gonna be using two times the amount of sugar to water. This will create a much more richer, silkier syrup to go inside the cocktails. The Demerara syrup goes best with more of a darker spirit. So alter alternatively, if you're sticking it with gin, you're probably not gonna get much value out of it. Um, you'd lose a lot of the white spirit based on the um, sugar syrup going inside of it. So definitely goes better with more of like a dark rum or an aged rum or definitely with bourbon. So we utilize it in the restaurant for making our old fashions. Um, gives it such a really silky, rich texture. Um, generally, when making an old fashioned, a lot of people will put actual sh the Demerara sugar inside of it and give it a stir. This is good and alternatively a good way to, good to make it, but we just find making an actual Demerara syrup allows us to be much more quicker and efficient when making our cocktails. So let's start making this. What you'll need, similar to um, the other videos, is a saucepan, obviously a hob to boil it on. It would take probably around four to five minutes, this one, and this one can stick to the bottom of the pan, so we need to make sure we're keeping an eye on it. So I've measured them out beforehand, save doing it on video. We have about 350 milliliters of um, Demerara syrup, Sugar, sorry. So that's going straight in. And then we've got about 175 milliliters of water. So we're gonna pop, boil on, and then keep an eye on that. Turn it on a medium to low heat so it doesn't start to burn really quickly. Mm. Grab our spoon. And we're just gonna stir it nicely, similar to the other sugar syrups just to make sure it doesn't get stuck. So generally, like I said, with um, the Demerara syrup, it tends to work best with uh, either a darker spirit, typically a rum or a bourbon. Um, we typically use it a lot with El Dorado, so an eight-year-old rum. Um, very tasty, really nice sipping rum, but just pairs excellent if making a, um, a, a rum old-fashioned. So really tasty, but also if you're making like kind of like a tropical based cocktail. So it would work really well with, um, again, El Dorado, pineapple, um, green chartreuse, likes of that, but that's kind of another video, we'll get into that. Um, so we'll just give this another stir. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just starts to make like a nice white foam on top. Lovely and rich. So that's nearly dissolved. Another minute. So same with the previous syrups. So this one will last about three to five days if you keep it in the fridge. They sometimes can last a little bit longer. I like to keep it as a rule of thumb that if you are making a syrup and it's fresh, obviously just keep it in the fridge for five days maximum. It's not hard to make a new one and it's relatively cheap as well, the ingredients. So as long as you're prepping in advance, if you are having some friends over or family, or you just want a cheeky cocktail on a Saturday night on your own whilst watching Netflix, um, just make sure you're keeping an eye on how long it's been in the fridge for, because you wouldn't want any bad, bad ingredients. So, so just gonna give that one more stir. And I'll sh I can see that, that nice white foam. I don't know if you guys can see that on that second camera. Can you guys see it? Lovely. So that's letting us know that it's nearly done. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna take that off the boil now. Now it's fully dissolved and I'll show you the final product. So I'd usually allow it to cool down naturally. However, because we haven't got time and this is online life, I'm cheating. I'm using a little bit of dry ice to cool it down quicker. <laughs> I 
and, and we're done. So I've transferred it to my bottle, which I'm gonna store into the fridge um, and then get it out for some cocktails later. Um, we're gonna be making a old fashioned with it later using whiskey. We like to use uh, Woodford Reserve for ours. Very tasty and again, it complements the syrup really well. The smoky aromas and just the richness, the full bodiness just works so well together. So give it a try, see what you come out like. Um, generally with a Demerara syrup, I probably would just leave it as it is and not infuse it with any other botanicals like we mentioned in the sugar syrup, the original, the castor one. Um, this is just good old fashioned Demerara syrup for darker spirits. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, give us a subscribe and like the video. You can also follow us on social media at Deja Vu Hereford on Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh my God, I'm fucking <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing. Oh.